What's up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to mount a cloud defensive 3.0 rain rifle light on your rifle. So let's get into it. Before we get further into this video, if you've been liking my videos on YouTube and my other social media platforms, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton and I very much appreciate it. So let's get back in the video. So if you've been following me for some time, a lot of you know that I was using an Olight rifle light. I've been using this thing for patrol and for all my other videos. A lot of people gave me a lot of crap for using this rifle light. I got comments like, hey, your light's going to explode because it's made from Olight. Bro, get a real weapon light. So I decided to actually upgrade from this Olight to a Cloud Defensive 3.0 rain. And this is my patrol rifle with the Cloud Defensive 3.0 rain. I got it in the FDE color and I think it looks pretty slick and its output of brightness and overall candela is very high. And so far as I've been running it, I've been liking it. So with that being said, let me show you how to mount this light on your Picatinny rail. So when you receive your cloud defensive order, you'll receive your box. In the box, you will get this portable dual slot USB battery charger, which will charge the battery for the rain. You will also receive this cloud defensive 18650 lithium ion rechargeable battery, which will go into the rain 3.0. You'll get your rifle light. I got it in the FDE color and it's attached to what I like to call the clicker. This is a clicker and this is a momentary on and it goes on and off with this button here. So you'll get that. You'll also get the mounting uh, gear hardware that you will need to mount it to a Picatinny rail. First, we'll insert our battery into the rain. Just take this, unscrew the top off, and you wanna make sure that the plus sign is towards the top. Insert, screw it back on, and, and there's the light. It is on, off, on, off. First, you wanna grab your base plate and make sure you know where to put it on your Picatinny rail. I usually place it towards the edge of my rifle so that my light is sitting on the edge and that's just where I like I like it to be. And what you want to do first is grab your base plate and you want to line it up with your light. So place it upside down, place it just like that. You'll grab your two little screws and you'll just insert them to the bottom of the base plate. Once that's lined up, just go ahead and screw it in. Now your light is mounted to the base plate. So what you want to do next is put it where you wanted it. Like I said, mine's up to the edge. I'll grab this end piece, line it up, make sure it's flush, and then grab my longer screws that come with it. Insert, kind of preset that mine just like this so that I can find the rail. And once I find the rail, I just push this side over Mount it on, and it's pretty simple to, to mount. All right, so now that it's mounted, I'll make sure it's gonna get screwed in there pretty tight. The mounting plate should be pretty flush with the separate plate that you screwed in, and so it should be on there pretty tight. That way, it's not moving for anything. And so now that we have a rifle light on our plate on the Picatinny rail, we can move on to my clicker. I will say this part was a little bit more challenging just because you do have to align these pieces with the clicker and mount the screws with these little guys that you insert as well. So let's do that now. I should mention this before you put your touchpad on the railing, you should adjust to how your hand or support hand will fit on the rail. While you're adjusting for that grip, you wanna make sure the wire is going through these Picatinny rails, which I like to do. That way this is not sitting on here and then bending it or risk of breaking the wire. So place it on here, place it through there so it runs pretty smoothly and neatly. That way nothing's getting snagged on, nothing's getting ripped or broken. Once you have your touch pad set where you want it, you grab the end, end piece, place it flush to the touch pad and you wanna make sure these uh, openings go towards the wire side so it still runs it through pretty neatly without getting snagged. Make sure you hold this tight because it is, it can get pretty loose and it does wiggle on you if you're not careful. 
So you want to make sure it's fed, fed through just like this and flush on both ends. Put in, put in your screw. And like I said, you want to make sure these end pieces on both sides are flush to the touchpad. So you might want to uh, lift up your rifle, make sure it gets in there pretty flush and just tighten it as needed. So once you have both of those pieces screwed in onto the touchpad, it should look like this and you should be good to go. Make sure it's functional. Yep. This front button actuates it with the click and this is just a touchpad. And that is how you mount your Cloud Defensive 3.0 rain on your rifle. And so here is the full setup of my patrol rifle with the magazine in. I hope you guys enjoyed and liked this video. As always guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next. Johnny Q video. Peace.